attack on Mika. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. Jeez, you're so useless. Next time you mess up, I'm gonna cut your hair. Yes, I'm Karin. Our baseball club coach, Hageru, is always very strict. He threatens to cut our hair whenever we make mistakes. And the crazy thing is, it has actually happened to some members in the past. Moreover, he seems to be very proud of his own hair, combing thoroughly during club activity hours. I really want to quit, but who knows what the coach will say then. One day... Hey, we have a new member. Hey, uh, I'm Kumi. I just transferred from another school. I got my love for baseball from my dad, who has always been a baseball fan. In my previous school, I was a captain of the girls' baseball club, so I know a thing or two about the rules. Nice to meet you all. Oh, she's a new girl in my class. Didn't know she was interested in baseball. Hey, we're in the same class, right? Glad to see you here. Nice to see you too, Kumi. We're the same age, right? Be casual with me. All right. She must be really good to have been a captain in her previous school. Probably much better than I am. Okay, so let's start with our usual menu. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, to warm up, run 10 laps. <sighs> Are you tired already? We haven't even finished a lap yet. Was she really in the baseball team? I'm not so sure now. We had very high expectations for Kumi, who said she was a captain of the baseball team in her previous school. However, the impression I got then turned out to be true. Okay, throw this way then. Here! Hey, where are you throwing at? Okay, now hit the ball with the bat. Okay! Oops. Huh? Don't throw the bat! Sorry about that, it just slipped through my hands. Weren't you the captain in your previous school? Well, yeah, but we only had two members, so honestly, I'm not that good. <laughs> only two members? You can hardly play catch! Hey, Kumi! What's going on? Huh? You suck at baseball! Give it a better shot, you fool! Uh, sorry. Ugh, what a useless addition to the team. And the rest of you guys, remember, if you play as bad as this one, you'll get kicked out immediately! Although I bet it's difficult to suck this much. From that day on, the coach started to pick on her, always telling us to never fall as low as Kumi. Kumi kept trying, but the coach never gave her credit and continued to bring her down. A few weeks later... Hey, when the hell are you gonna improve on your crappy skills? Sorry. Don't give me that. You need to show way more effort if you want to stay in this team. You're just dragging down the other members like this. Also, what's up with your hair? This is a baseball team. Shave your head. What? No one else does, and this hairstyle doesn't go against school rules. Why are you picking on me exclusively? Even if the school allows it, I don't. If you really want to stay in the team, go shave your head. No ways. There's absolutely no correlation between baseball skills and hair length. Huh? Are you really giving me that attitude? Or are you just jealous of my hair? What? You're just jealous of my long, beautiful hair, aren't you? So you don't want to cut yours. But I'm not going to let you get away with that. If you're not going to listen to me, I'll go ahead and cut your hair. Hey! Don't move! I'm going to shave all your hair off, so stay still! Ouch! Let go! If you don't stay still, I might even cut your ears. Your attitude is disrespectful, you fool. Be more respectful to your elders! Wait, Coach! Kumi's trying so hard! This is not right! Shut up! I make the rules! If you don't listen to me, I'll shave your head too! No way! No one could stop the reckless Coach. Kumi was held down by the Coach as he shaved her hair. There! Much better! Hey, the rest of you! Don't be as crappy as this one! If you all start to suck like her, it'll be the end for this baseball team. Kumi, are you okay? Yeah, let's just continue with our practice. Kumi's still trying despite all this. How could he do this to her? Well, I couldn't stop the coach, so I'm also to blame. Maybe I could have saved her if I was more firm with him. Karin, I'm really okay. Can you help me practice? Of course. Trying to make amends, I helped her practice until late that day. Eventually, we left together at the end of school hours. Oh my gosh, what a rough day. I'm so sorry that I couldn't stop him. 
It's not your fault, Kareem. I just need to get better. Oh, how I wish I could get better. Kumi, you're quite amazing. Even after what happened today, you're not giving up. Don't you ever feel like fleeing from it all? I'm not gonna let it stop me. If I do, then I'd fail myself. I'm not gonna let him get to me. I actually wanna take that boaster down. Like, how? I know what his weakness is. Once I strike, he won't be staying for much longer. But aren't you afraid of going against him? Why would you try to rock the boat? In order to free yourself from an unpleasant situation, you have to get your hands dirty to change it. If you don't act, you stay stuck in that situation. Is that what you want, Karin? But he's terrifying. Fear will overtake you just for that moment. But by enduring it and pushing through, you free yourself from the ugly situation. Don't you think it's worth it? That's why I'm going to do it. Okay then, I'll give you a hand. I can do it on my own. No, let me. I couldn't save you today, so I want to help you out. Okay then, let's do it. Just like this, I decided to counterattack under Kumi's lead. Okay, let's start. Hey, where's Kumi? Has she finally given up? Well, she was only a burden to our team, so I guess it's for the better. <laughs> Sorry that I've been a burden. Ah, so you came. Don't be late, loser. Huh? What's up with your hair? This is just a wig. A wig? Yes, coming to school with a shaved head is like getting a death sentence for a girl. Oh, just a wig. What makes you think you're allowed to wear such a thing? Why not? The school rules doesn't say that I can't wear one. If I say no, it's a no! Take it off! Then you should take yours off too. Oh! <laughs> what? That's a wig too? So he's been showing off his wig? What are you talking about? Of course this isn't a wig! I do cosplay and happen to know a lot about wigs. I'm actually on TV too, under the name Kumi. Not that you'd know at your age. Kumi? So you were the one co-starring with my favorite pop singer? Oh, so you know. I felt and tried so many wigs so I can tell easily when someone's wearing one. Nonsense! This hair is mine! Okay, so you wouldn't mind me pulling it then? Huh? Sorry, coach! Ah, stop it! Stop pulling my hair! <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Why are you panicking like that if it's your real hair? You're wrong! It's not a wig! Then why don't you let go? It's more suspicious of you to fight back like that. Damn it! Huh? Got it! I got it! Hey, give it back! I told you it's a wig. I can tell you're using students here too. No way! How the hell would I- You've cut hair off from those that made mistakes during club hours. That's how you made yourself a wig, right? What are you talking about? How do you suppose I made a wig by myself? There are companies that take hair and turn into a wig. But given that you're so bald, I wonder where you got all this hair from. I'm telling you that's not true! I bought this wig! No ways. If it's store-bought, the color and length of hair should be more aligned. This one's too unnatural. It won't turn out this way unless you made it yourself with hair that you've collected. Uh. Why don't you just admit that you've been making wigs out of students' hair? Damn it! It's all of you guys' fault, showing off long hair in front of me! You were all basically asking me to cut them off for me to use! If you don't want me to use them, then just come shaved, all of you! Uh, excuse me, but you'd never look like us even if you wore a wig with our hair. Never! I mean, obviously your hair roots are all dead. Uh. You nailed that one, Kumi. <laughs> <laughs> no. I still have hope. My hair could still grow. Damn it! <laughs> the coach broke down crying after being confronted with the truth. Afterwards, word spread that the coach was using female students' hair to make his wig. Not only the students, but also the teachers started to turn a cold shoulder on him. Eventually, he left the school. At one point, I really considered leaving the baseball club. But after the coach left, I found myself enjoying it again. It's all thanks to you, Kumi. Come on, I didn't do much. I just wanted that coach to get lost. I really enjoyed playing baseball like this with you. Despite everything that happened, I'm glad I joined this club. I've been too afraid to confront the coach and make a change, but once I did, everything brightened up. Kumi has taught me that when you want a situation to change, you have to step up instead of waiting. But... Hey, what are you throwing at? 
Oops. I really do hope Kumi gets better at baseball soon.